Malcolm is casually memorizing passages from James Joyce's Ulysses. He says it's relaxing, to the soul. Well, Malcolm can be a bit strange at times, but is still probably the smartest guy I know. At this point, Malcolm usually spends his time asking the real hard questions. Questions like, Can life truly be valued? Is humanity made for loving or the other way around? Is the existential vacuum concomitant with today's hyper-consumerist standard of living, or rather, the direct result of such indulgence? Ah, <sighs> wow, okay, we may not be able to answer any of these questions, but maybe Malcolm has something more along our lines. Okay, how about this one for you? How do you dewater more ore from contaminated bodies of waters, pools, or lakes? Can environmental risks be dampened? Aha! I think we can help with these questions for sure. Imagine the world's largest game reserve, like this one, right here next to a treasured national park. Not too far off sits this dewatering plant. In the past, this plant used to dry the magnetite concentrate by pumping the slurry into drying ponds and allowing the sun to dry the material. This meant that thousands of liters of precious water were being wasted. And that's exactly where Andritz came into the picture with clear answers and solid solutions. A new turnkey dewatering plant was installed with three continuously operating horizontal vacuum belt filters. Now, the dewatering plant allows the magnetite slurry to be reused in the plant, thus saving space, water of course, while staying safe and responsible to the environment. With high filtration rates and large tonnage capabilities, Andritz Separation offered a clear solution with low maintenance costs and durability. Process plants like these now make more efficient use of recycled filtration water and are able to produce filtration water with less environmental impact. That's a solid solution, indeed. It's a good one. Huh. Oh, shucks. Thanks, Malcolm. Carry on. Existentialism in the message of